fabulous screen grab someone's done about how to deal with Mike McDonald's stare. Brilliant. Have a nice big swig on your beverage. Who posted that? Was that? That was Stake Me. That was Stake Me Unbroke. Hats off. ZZ tops off, off and away again. He doesn't like staying in his seat for long, does yeah, he? Yeah, it's funny oh, that. Mr. Allenson. I, I, I don't I I wonder, know wonder why that's about. Oh. Unless he's just got a friend with him and so they're chatting in between hands and he doesn't want to do that at the table. Team Pokestar's blog in the background there. Stephen Bartley stroking his chin next to Howard Swain's. Could have been worse. He could have been stroking Howard's chin, which is just clearly Wrong. against the Oh, words. maybe he did because Howard's off. Yeah, well, he saw it coming. He thought, this is how it starts. Steve strokes his own chin, and then he starts moving on to the other attractive members of the blog team. Give us a wave, Steve. Give us a wave. He's not listening. Oh. He can't hear you. It's Paul Ornstein from Bluff. Ricky <laughs> Dolph from Pokey News. All the guys working hard on the floor. Yeah, these are the people that bring you all these updates we keep telling you about. Meanwhile, here it's gone. Check from Ramage. Check from Olofsson. Round to the Stairmaster. <laughs> Oh, as, and I just realised there's no one ever called him that before. Luckily, you're only here for another 45 seconds. It's a shame. Guys, before we do head off, thanks ever so much for being with us these uh, couple of sessions today with myself and Mark. James and Joe are going to take you through the rest of today's play. Apparently, we've crushed match of the day tonight, which is boring compared to us. Oh, really? I've got that taped when I get back. Daryl Lineker and your big ears. Get out. Yeah. It's, I, you know what? We are to Alan Shearer and Alan Hansen what cheese is to dessert. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. Yeah, anyway, 60,000. I'll, I'll save you. Don't worry, I've got this. Thanks. I'll take over. Thanks so yeah. much. 60,000 from Mr. McDonald. <laughs> Mark Olsen, think about this very quickly to Adam, asking where I can watch the full Q&A sessions the pros did. Lee Jones talks about this. Don't forget, always check out the blog, always check out the YouTube channel for anything you want to catch up on. Check back call, seven of hearts. Check. taking his time. David's asking what are the white badges that the players have at the table. That's got their uh, media ID number on. So all the different media outlets they're here are covering the tournament <laughs> rather than asking players names while they're trying to concentrate. They can have a look at that number, refer to uh, an Excel spreadsheet that Madeline Harper puts together. And then everyone gets a mention in the blogs. 100,000 is the bet for Mike McDonald. Yeah, this is forming into a sizable pot to end the level on if uh, this continues. Still one street of betting potentially to come. Yeah, and Olufsen's only got 357,000 chips back. Yeah. So this is a really crucial um, junction for him. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Right now, if he, if he goes with this, especially knowing that we're about to turn a level and the price of play is going up. Yeah, he'll have you know, a little bit more than just half the pot left on the river. Yeah. Look at that stare down. Looks like he's not done with this. He was the pre-flop raiser, not that that means too much. He's coming along for the ride. He's not going to raise, but he is going to call. We've got 445,000 in this pot now, uh, and only 257k back for Olofsson. Ten of hearts. Maybe Olofsson has something like, you know, a pair and a flush draw, maybe of the nine, nine of clubs with another club. Who knows? It's just one of the range of hands he could be on. Yeah, well, I guess to be to be calling there, you'd seem as... I don't know. Yeah, yeah, possibly so. It's, it's just such a patchy board, isn't it? Yeah, if he just had a bare flush draw, then I think he would have played it more aggressively. Out yeah. of position. You think he needs something else to back it up, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I don't think he's got just just a yeah just a bare draw. I think he's got some sort of value hand as well, or maybe just a value hand without the flush draw. Checked over to McDonald's. 
All in. So this is the problem playing out of position. And giving up the the initiative in the hand after being the aggressor pre-flop. Put yourself in a world of trouble because you're kind of just guessing where you're at because you don't have as much information as if you bet into McDonald's. If time it sniffs the weakness, he's going to try and exploit it. If you've got a chink in your armor, he's going to try and open that chink. You can see the all-in is for two point two million, but really it's effectively two hundred and fifty-seven thousand, which is what Mr. Olufsen has behind. Here Oi. we go! Let's see the damage. King, oh, is that King, King Ten of Queen? Clubs? And he might have hit the Ten on the river? Oh, wow. Well, it does make total sense, but Jack it's bad nine. news. Yeah, he did have just a value hand. Bad news, though. What a horrible river for him. <laughs> 